everyone, this is teacher Morrissey and welcome back again to my channel. So for today's lesson or discussion, we will have to solve the first quartile of group data. What is quartile? Quartiles are values that divide a set of data into four equal groups. There are three quartiles denoted by Q sub 1, Q sub 2, and Q sub 3, which are the first lower, first or lower, second or median, and third or upper quartiles respectively. So first, we have to solve for first quartile of group data. The frequency distribution presented below gives the ages of members of the families in Barangay 143. So here, the ages is 81 to 90, 71 to 80, 61 to 70, 51 to 60, 41 to 50, 31 to 40, 21 to 30, 11 to 20, and 1 to 10, which are the ages or range. So in 81 to 90, age is there are 7. In 71 to 80, there are 4. In 61 to 70, there are 13. 51 to 60, 17. 41 to 50, there are 27. And 31 to 40, there are 16. 21 to 30, there are 43. 11 to 20, there are 35. And 1 to 10, there are 38 people having the age of 1 to 10 and a total of 200 members. Age of members. So, step 1. Find the lower boundaries. Lower boundary is found by subtract, subtracting 0 0.05 units from the lower class limit. So in our ages, so example, we have to 81 to 90. Our lower ages is on the left side. So our lower boundaries is 81 minus 0 0.5 is equals to 80.5, 71 minus 0 0.5 is 70.5, 61 minus 0 0.5 is 60.5, 51 minus 0 0.5 is 50.5, 41 to point minus 0 0.5 is 40.5, 31 minus 0 0.5 is 30.5, 21 minus 0 0.5 is 20.5, 11 minus 0 0.5 is 10.5, 1 minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5. So those are for finding lower boundaries. In step 2, find the cumulative frequency. It is obtained by adding successively the frequencies starting from the lowest to the highest class. So these are the cumulative frequency. So we have to add from the lowest to the highest class. So 38 is our lowest frequency. We have to add 38 plus 5. 35 is equals to 73. And 73 plus 43 is equals to 116. And 116 plus 16 is equals to 132. 132 plus 27 is equals to 159. 159 plus 17 is equals to 176. 176 plus 13 is equals to 189. 189 plus 4 is equals to 193 and 193 plus 7 is equals to 200. So our cumulative frequency is by adding successively from lowest to the highest class. Third is you have to locate 
q sub 1 class so in finding the q sub 1 class um, we have to find n over 4 4 means um, the represents the quartile which is divided into four equal parts so our n or the total number of data is 200 over 4 so the answer for q sub 1 class is 50 so this means you need to find a class interval where 50th age is contained notice that the 39 to 73rd ages belong to the class interval 11 to 20. So the 50th age is also within the class interval. So we have here the 39 to 73 age for Q sub 1 class because our 50 falls within 39 to 73 age. Solve for first quartile, identify the given. So, our LB is 10.5, our N or total number of data is 200, our cumulative frequency before is 38, interval is 10, K is Q sub 1, which is 1, and our frequency is 35. Substitute the given to the formula. So, Q sub K our formula is Q sub K equals LB plus KN over 4 minus cumulative frequency before over frequency of the quartile 1 class times interval. So we have to substitute the value for LB. KN minus cumulative frequency is 38 and frequency is 35. The interval is 10. So Q sub 1 is equals to 10.5 plus 50 minus 38 over 35 times 10. So we have here Q1 is equal to 10.5 plus 12 over 35 times 10. Q1 is equal to 10.5 plus 24 over 7. So our Q1 is equal to 13.93. Therefore, 25% of the members of the family have an age less than or equal to 13.93 So that's all for today guys This is teacher Mars and believes that everything is simple unless you make it complicated Thank you everyone See you in my next video Don't forget to subscribe, like and share